That sounds, that sounded terrible. I just need to be able to pull this thing off. Oh, well, there you go. That happened. Yeah, nah, it's not gonna work. That's not good. No check engine lights, but she won't rev past 25. So I clearly messed something up. Strong was going wrong. It is I. It's the chef boy. Cooking up another one. You might be wondering what's on the side of my face. It's another camera. Don't worry about that. But I'm about to install this bad girl real quick. I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of what's happening under the hood. So it always makes me excited. I'm swapping this bad girl out for the blue one you saw inside. All of this, which is much smaller in size. And then I've got to take a couple of these pieces out. I had to switch that joint out for this. So. Got you on here. Perfect. I gotta take this big joker out. So this is on the throttle body itself, so we're fine. I mean, it's really only two things connected to this. And this whole thing needs to come out. I got one. I feel like there's gotta be another one over here somewhere. Another one of these screws. Um, I got two connections. I got this thing right here, which is that right there, which means there's something on the inside of it. I don't even think I can show it to you, to be honest with you. Um, but there's a piece on the inside holding this piece in. So I would imagine there's a piece on the inside holding that other piece in. And then this one's actually not that hard. This one's just a clip. If I break it, bad things happen. But nope, just disconnected, so that's fine. We need to come out, two of them. Take that off, take this off. It's this piece right here, though. This piece right here, man. Since I'm not using this again, I'm not really concerned about taking this out. But I am still gonna need to get this off of here. But that's why I got the heat gun. So we'll just kind of make that happen, I guess. So let's try and make this thing happen. This is in fact not a 10. Nine. Eight. That's definitely an eight. That is also definitely an eight. Let's take this off then, fine. Makes life easier, I guess. All right, so that came off. This is the part that always makes me uncomfortable. All right, all right. So now you can come off of the throttle body. That's fine. And, oh, stop it. You were only held in by one? You're lying. Okay, that sounds, that sounded terrible. Okay, so it's literally only held in by that one. This, oh, this comes out, this is just another one of those little like, like this is what connects from the uh, illuminated air catcher, which is your headlight, into this piece right here, this little hole right over here. Can I just take this piece out? It does not look like I can. Ring that I can hold on to. All right, so you're off. This is cool. This one, I don't think I'm gonna mount this one on the wall. I think I'm just gonna throw it uh, in the garage somewhere. The other one from Kitten, I have mounted. That thing's just stuck in there from what I'm seeing. What I understand, it's literally just kind of shoved in there, so. That's gonna be annoying to the camera, but it's gonna be great for me, man. It almost feels like I do have to just pull it out. The whole thing just legitimately pulls straight out. All right, this gets retained for use with the new one, which is right here, and you just ram it in. There's a, there's a, there's a spot right here. This piece right here, that's not coming off. I gotta heat that up. Let's see. I just need to be able to pull this thing off. Oh, well, there you go. That happened. You know what's funny? I just realized I never tried to just take it off. I'm just gonna try and see if I can get this on here real quick. And that's not a problem. That is not a problem at all. This is the, uh, the intake. Um, I already put it together. The way to put it together, you're literally just taking one of these clamps, get that on here, do not 
over tighten. I cannot tell you how to not over tighten. I literally can't. Then we got this part, which is just gonna slide right onto the throttle body. And I'm just gonna get you right on here. And that's set up almost perfectly. So what is this? This is not an eight. It's gotta be a 10. It's gotta be. This is a 10. Perfect. And I can actually get you down a little bit more. It just doesn't sit well. Huh. I'm trying to get it as lined up over here as possible. Oh, I don't have to worry about avoiding over tightening it because I can't even get the bit down any further. One of the most aggressive sockets I've got and I had to adapt it. So you know what? I'm probably just gonna have to hand tighten. But is that too high? Let's just see. Yeah, nah, it's not gonna work. Nah, I just, I just saw the thing push down. I just saw it push down. So, I think if I just get really aggressive, I'm gonna reverse these. So I just need to take this ring off. I'm gonna flip it around, get easier access to it. This one, it's gonna have to come off too. But that's fine because I was still holding it and nothing went into the engine bay. So let's just put this right back together. <laughs> get you on here, get you on here. This is the one that I want to be up against and locked in. That looks good. I don't want to turn it though. She's in there. We're good. We're good on this side. Now, this is the hard part. Yeah, that's fine. It looks like there's space in there, but that's going to be locked up here. So, okay. Put your right in here. I need you as close as possible to the edge. Perfect. Notice how the coupler is just forming right around. All right, let's see. All right, this feels good. This feels good. This doesn't feel like it's coming out. I'm wiggling, I'm fighting with her. I don't wanna go any tighter. I don't feel like there's any air coming in here. This is just something that you gotta check every so often, that's it. You just check this thing and make sure that we're good. Um, all right, last piece is the sensor. Where'd that piece go? Here we go. All right. So the sensor, I'm just gonna plug you right back in. And I'm correct. All right. Old intake, I can actually take this off now. Old intake, uh, new intake. She won't rev past 25. No check engine lights, but she won't rev past 25. Huh. Oh, that's not good. So I clearly messed something up because I literally cannot rev past 2,500 RPM. Like if I step on it and try and step on it again, she cuts. And part of me feels like it has to do with the throttle body just not opening up which would be bad. But I can't imagine how that could be. I mean, she's not getting air would be the answer. This is too tight. That's the only thing I can think of because I like what's what would be blocking the throttle body. I'm probably gonna take it apart and then start her up without the intake. Editor Christine here. It's the break-in period. Again, still, the breaking period. Oh, that 
that's not good. It's still not working. So I'm just gonna put it back together and hope that it's, because I, what, I, what I forgot is that I'm under 600 miles. Maybe that's part of the break-in period. I have never tried to rev her like this without actually moving the vehicle forward. So I'm just gonna go uh, down the block or something and see how that works. Hours later. Oh, she is just fine. Woo! She is just fine! Oh my God. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I didn't know. I didn't know. Team, she's just fine. This is what happens when you're paranoid, right? And um, I've never said I was the highest IQ brother in the world. I never said that. I specifically said that I do stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm all about experiences. And what I just experienced was fear and excitement all at the same time. I do want to look into why I couldn't rev past 2,500, but then again, why didn't you just drive the car instead of trying to rev the daggone thing? I thought it made more sense to just rev the thing and see how it sounded, but no, no. I, and it's funny because like, it sounds the same as what I'm used to. I, I've had an intake like this before and it sounded insane, you know? Now it's making me want to do the mid-muffler even more. So, I don't know, I might have to do the mid-muffler which means I'm going back to Ralph and John's. Okay, that's the end of it. Um, the, the, the tools, I should have told you this in the front, but the tools you're gonna need for this, I mean, I use the heat gun. I don't even know if I need to use a heat gun. Just try and pull the thing with your hand. I mean, the gloves give you a much better grip. You're gonna need a 10 to install the intake I've got, and you'll need an eight to install, uh, to remove the ones that came with the rings anyway, that came with your intake. Now mind you, this is a 2019 hood, like or rather this is the hood that shows up on all of these bad girls from 2019 on. It's not the one with the heat extractors on the side over here, right? It's literally the one with the two snorkels. So it's it's a different install than the one with the two snorkels, the, the, the heat, well that's sorry, the one with the heat extractors has a, um, it's got a plate that covers it. For the purposes of me just not telling you stuff, I'm not, I'm specifically not mentioning the name of the intake for, for personal reasons or professional reasons, whatever. Anyway, get yourself an intake. The daggone thing sounds great. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post some, some stuff later on all platforms uh, comparing the two, kind of like what I did in the beginning of this video. I'm the chef boy and uh, that sweet, sweet sound is the recipe. And you got it, you got the recipe.